Hello again, my friends. It's Roger from Mud Fossil University with some outstanding news. Harvard and Max Planck, working in the uh, silent zone, apparently, have been um, working on mud fossil DNA. And they have, um, have certified everything the Mud Fossil University has been saying about the mud and the DNA It is in the mud that erodes from mud fossils. And we have the mud fossils and they are here. So in all practical effect, mud fossils have been completely validated. And you go to Mud Fossil University on YouTube and you will see all the different types of things that we have to offer with with a complete uh, scientific validation. The CAT scans, DNA, we've done three DNA tests, seven CAT scans, anatomist, chemistry. So anyway, here's what, uh, this is the website to go to uh, mudfossils.com and this is the, uh, uh, back here at mudfossils.com, if you scroll down over here is the DNA lab report, you click that and you go into the DNA lab report and it goes through, it's very, very detailed and it was, there was three different um, mud fossils tested and they tested all human DNA, 100% human and um, uh, I have all videos on all this stuff and it was certified by the lab um, director and uh, I had a big long discussion with them and there was no possibility of any problem. The dense, the DNA was dense, no, no possibility of contamination. Negative controls were negative, positive uh, on all the different things, 100% D-loop and uh, cyto, cytochrome B, I think it was, cyto, whatever it was. There's two, two different uh, regions, 100 base pairs minimum in each region, both of them 100% match. So it's, it's, it's just a fact, and they know this now. So let me go into the uh, video that they present about how they validated um, my claims. Okay, what you should do is go up here. It's called Mud DNA Means We Can Detect Ancient Humans Even Without Fossils. Well, I have the fossils. They just don't understand that part of it yet, but they will. Now, show more gives a, a complete description. It talks about mud DNA, how they now it's a astonishing new tool and uh, a universe and a gram of mud and it says any sample of soil or water full of DNA now. Two years ago I was insane. They look for DNA from energy generated mitochondria and so forth and it, and it is the real thing. The team found ancient hominid mitochondrial DNA exactly what we did, identical. So th this is like a peer review in samples from four of the seven sites they looked at. The DNA probably came from human uh, uh, excrement or a rotting soft tissue. It came from de decomposing, rotting, if you want to call it, soft tissue from the mud fossils. So, and then now they're going to go down and say they can go look for everywhere now. And this was in the New Scientist. And uh, this is uh, Max Planck and Harvard. So, here's what they have to say. Listen. We can detect ancient humans even without fossils. We have an astonishing new way to study our early human ancestors, looking for their DNA in ancient sediments in places such as caves. A team of researchers has found the DNA of Neanderthals and Denisovans in some of the sites where they are known to have lived. I think we show convincingly that these sequences are authentic, says lead author Vivian Slin of the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany. That's the one I sent my stuff The to. approach can now be used to find out whether early humans were present even when no bones have been found and what kind of humans they were. It might also help resolve the debate about when the Americas were first inhabited by people, for instance. Universe in a gram of mud. Just about any sample of soil or water is full of DNA from all kinds of organisms. Sequencing this environmental DNA is an increasingly powerful tool for studying ecosystems. For instance, biologists were recently able to identify several caves where baby dragons, or olds, live simply by analyzing the water flowing out of them. In sediments buried in cool caves and in permafrost, this environmental DNA can survive for up to 700,000 years. In 2003, a team led by S. Willersluff, now at the University of Cambridge, was the first to show that it was possible to find ancient DNA from species like the woolly mammoth, 
in frozen mud in Siberian permafrost. Now Slin's team has shown that ancient human DNA can survive in sediments too. Her team sequenced all the DNA present in sediment samples from sites where hominins lived, such as Denisova Cave in Russia. The biologists then used short pieces of modern human mitochondrial DNA to extract longer bits of DNA containing a matching sequence from the samples. The team looked for DNA from the energy generating mitochondria within our cells, because they each contain the same DNA and there are hundreds per cell, so it is the type most likely to survive. Exact same the stuff real we thing. did. The team found ancient common and mitochondrial DNA in samples from four of the seven sites they looked at. The DNA probably came from human excreta or from rotting soft tissue. Soft tissue. The discovered sequences had damage characteristic of ancient DNA and contained variants known to be unique to Neanderthals or Denisovans. So the team is sure they are the real thing, says Slim. Ancient humans are just another mammal, points out Willerslov. Given that we can find the DNA of woolly rhinoceroses and cave bears in sediments, it's not surprising that we can find ancient hominin DNA as well. I'm going to stop now, but now it's not surprising and everything, there's tons of DNA everywhere. So, finally they looked and exactly what we sent to them years ago. So, I appreciate it Harvard, I appreciate it Max Planck, and thank you so much. And now let's get on with examining the real mud fossils and go to Mud Fossil University and look away because all of that stuff now is is validated and certified by the ones that we trust and and, and up till now uh, I've been very very dismayed but I, I now I'm taking heart in the uh, in the academic process they have finally come around and and looked and they don't want to talk about the things that I possess because the things I possess really go against their, their grain. Um, but th now they are certified. Certified. And mine was, they were certified before, it's just nobody looked. So now peer review is done. It's time to open up the floodgates and look at mud fossils and see our ancient past for what it really is. And there was giants human giants and mine are DNA proven and they were not the little giants 15 20 feet tall either these were enormous and that was the big rub so thanks Harvard thanks Max Planck we love you